How's it going everyone? This is Education About Stuff and in this video we're going to talk about user input and conversions. And when I say conversions I mean converting from type to type. You saw from our last video types can be a little fragile and picky so we're going to figure out a way that we can make them work together. So let's start with some user input. When a user inputs something it's text. We don't know if they input a number, we don't know if they input a sentence, we simply just don't know what they're putting in. So, as such, we will just assume it's always a string. Now you can have numbers inside a string, you can have numbers inside some text, it doesn't matter. So, this is the best, um, this is the best type to use when taking user input. So you can say string and input is equal to console.readline. So we recognize this from our previous videos as just taking the enter key. What it was actually doing is it was trying to detect a line of user input. Because we didn't deal with it in any way in our code, it just kind of rejected it. Um, what it does is it terminates this line of code. It goes through this instruction. It goes through this specific instruction after you push the enter key. And it takes the line from before that. And then we can use it in however, we, in however way we want. But because we were just pushing the enter key, the line was blank, didn't do anything, and then it closed the program. That's what we wanted before, but this time we actually want some real input. So we're going to say string input is equal to console.readline. Now if we do console.writeline, and then input inside there, and then our standard console.readline so that our console doesn't close at the end, we should just get the input repeated back to us. So if we type in hi, it just tells us hi right back. Okay. So if we want to type a message, what we can do is we can just do console.write. We'll do console.write. I don't want a new line just yet, and you'll see why. Do console.write, and we'll say enter a number. Okay. So then if I put in like five, you see how there's no new line and the number appears right after the text? That's exactly the behavior I wanted. So now if we read the line, it'll repeat 5 back to us, that's perfect. Now 5 in that case is not a real number, it's a string. We can't do arithmetic with a string, so we have to convert it. We have to convert this string to a number. So first, I want to say, your number is... And you can append a string like this by using plus. So what this does is it'll say your number is, and they'll give us our input number. So if we check this out, enter a number, 7. Your number is 7. Terrific. So let's convert our number now. So we'll do int, and we'll do int input. This is a good naming convention for your variables. Always kind of like inject some meaning into your variable names just so that you know what they are later. If you just give them like x, y, z, i, j, whatever type names, you're not going to know what they are later when you reread your code. So always use real names so that you know what your code's doing. So we can do int int input, which means that this is the integer input. And we're going to convert what we have into an integer. So we have a string right now. So we can use the convert class. Convert, and then to int. We have three options here. For our purposes, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Um, 16, 32, and 64 are just the bit counts, which essentially mean how long, how big of a number you can have inside these integer variables. Um, usually int 32 is just fine if you're dealing with really big cal uh, calculations. You can use int 64. Um, int 16 is if you know you're dealing with a small number. But just for the sake of clarity, we're going to use int 32. So we're converting input to that. Okay, so now if we try to do arithmetic on int input, it'll work just fine. So if we took our if we take our example from the last video, and we say int result is equal to int input then plus three, then we can do this console dot write line your number plus three is result. Okay. 
enter a number one and it works great it won't repeat you would need a loop for that and we'll go over that in future videos put an eight perfect it's easy simple so if we wanted to convert a number back to a string um, then you can just put dot to string at the end of that number so if we did if for some reason we, we wanted to convert result to a string we just do dot and then to string that's the good thing about converting to a string strings are really easy because you know you can have like any anything inside some text you can have numbers you can have whatever you want um, so that's why pretty much every single variable type or object will have a dot to string function attached to it so you can always convert anything to a string so uh, yeah that pretty much sums it up for this video uh, thanks again for watching uh, feel free to subscribe and thumb up and post in the comments if you have any suggestions or questions